Hey everyone, I would like to discuss with you a bit about projectiles. So projectiles, not only in Unity, but uh, in also most other engines, most of the time you're going to be using something like a rigid body and a collider. But um, if you did use that and started having some, you know, fast moving projectiles, but when I say fast, it's not even that fast, honestly. Um, you will realize that there are some issues with uh, collision detection and how things are handled. There are a few settings we can tweak on the rigid body, but I didn't find anything that's actually uh, fixing it. So uh, I started working on my own collision detection system for RPG Builder projectiles. Uh, the solution I made is not the best in each use cases, but it is the best in quite a few of them, and it is the best by far. And this is what I'm going to showcase in this video. So before getting into it, I want to give some context on what we're looking at here. We have two abilities here, as you can see. Uh, so we have Fireball 1 and Fireball 2. These abilities, if we look at the editor, they are very, very similar. They have the exact same settings. They both have a speed of 40. And uh, the difference is that they do not use the same prefab. So as you can see, this one is using Fireball prefab. And this one also has a speed of 40, but is using Fireball 2 prefab. So let me show you what uh, those prefab have in uh, common and what's different. What they have in common is the projectile heat detection component. You see that both of them have them, but you also see that projectile one is using, you know, rigid body and colliders as we just talked about, but Fireball 2 does not have any of those two components. This one just has the projectile heat detection component. So this projectile two is using my custom way. So now I would like to show you a bit um, What's you know different? So first of all, let's shoot at the ground pretty much. So when I'm shooting at the ground right now, I'm using Fireball One here. So this is using a rigid body and a collider, and you know it's working. Like it does detect the heat with the ground. The projectile get destroyed. It plays its uh, kind of explosion uh, effect, but you can see that it is underground. If I go um, full screen here, you see how ugly this is. The heat effect is literally underground and the projectile just looks like it literally went through the ground, which it did actually. If I now use uh, my custom solution, uh, there is this grass, which is kind of bothering us here. So let me do that, maybe this is better. No, let's move a bit on the side and go like that. Okay. So this is uh, projectile one, which goes through the ground, and this is projectile two, which actually stops uh, when it hits the ground. So if I go full screen now, you see how much better this looks. Like this actually looks like it hits the ground and um, kind of exploded. This works in any camera, of course. Um, if uh, we shoot at the rock here, uh, with projectile one, you see that it just goes straight through it. With projectile two, you see that it just looks way better. Like the collision looks way better. It actually looks like you just hit the rock. And this works on uh, any object. If I use projectile one here, you see that it looks like it goes through the barrel, but projectile two actually looks like it hits the barrel. Okay, so this was for the environment part, right? Um, but obviously this works also for combat. So uh, if I use projectile one here, and um, you see that it does its job, right? It works. like. We do hit the dummy target, the projectile gets destroyed, but uh, it also deals the damage, obviously, but it is also delayed. The same as it was doing with the ground, it is going past the dummy target, which is not something that looks good. Now, if I use projectile number two, you see that it is um, much more accurate. So it is not going past it. It is getting destroyed as soon as it should, and it just looks way better. Like, it just looks much better uh, this than this. It can, all of this goes fast, so some people might not even notice, but I do, and uh, I want to fix that. Um, and I'm going to quickly show you an example, which is making it a lot more obvious how better it is. Let's maybe set the speed to 60, and the angle spread to uh, 360, and count to 15. And I'm going to do this to uh, the Fireball 2 also, for the exact same setting. So 360 and 15 projectiles. All right. So now I'm going to use the Fireball 1 ability. And, you know, pretty cool ability, actually. Um, but you see that we do hit those dummies. But if I go a bit above here, um, look at this. It, it, 
hit, but you see the projectile, uh, it still goes past. It's just ugly. Also, when you look at the um, rock here, it just goes through it. And same from here. Like the collision detection is so bad. Uh, now, if I use Fireball 2, look at how much better this is. When it's hit a dummy target, it actually explodes. And um, here it, it actually collides with the house. If I use the number one here, you see we don't even see the collision on the house, but the number two does. So that's great. And uh, yeah, it's just way, way, way better, like much more accurate. And this actually looks cool. So another very uh, important example, because this was the main reason I started coding this new system, is very high speed projectile so i'm going to put it back to one simple projectile but this time as you can see it's going to go at 200 speed which starts to be quite high uh, i'm not even sure myself if I, if I would use such a high speed in my game because as you will see in a bit it is very very quick um i'm going to first shoot it like this you see how quick this is i mean yeah that's very quick um if we now start and uh, i mean if we now try to hit this uh, dummy, you see that it worked, but it's not going to be consistent. Um, this worked, but also you didn't, we didn't even see the, um, the heat detection. And here, for example, you see that it's just not working anymore. Like it's not consistent. It worked a couple times, but then it's not going to work. And uh, it's very, very, uh, it's not even random, but it's very, um, I don't know, it's fixed uh, update dependence. So in some cases it's going to work and you can see that now we literally just can't get it to work anymore. Now I'm going to use uh, projectile number two, so fireball number two, and it is going to work every single time. So they have the exact same speed and this just works perfectly. It gets destroyed when it should. The destruction effect looks exactly how it should on the um, NPC and it's just always going to work. This, of course, has its own limit. You cannot have a speed of 10,000 and have it to work. That's not going to be possible, uh, at least not with the system. But it has much, much, much higher limits uh, than the uh, Fireball 1, which I'm going to use now. You see that it's literally just not working. I think the Fireball 1 limit will be around uh, maybe 150 will still work. So yeah, we do hit, but you see that the projectile is completely gone. The, uh, the uh, heat effect is literally way past that. So this is a good representation of how much the projectile keeps traveling, right? And uh, so yeah, that's just a very good example of how much better this custom solution is. But uh, like I said, it's not the best, you know, it's not the best solution for any use cases. So here are my recommendations and how I would personally use those two. So option number one, this uh, collider projectile is something I will still use uh, for slow moving projectiles for which I need a big hitbox and uh, a lot of freedom on how big my hitbox is and you know what shape and so on. Because this is what colliders makes very easy for you. You have a lot of freedom on the size, the length, the height, whatever of those colliders and those hitboxes. This is not something that my custom solution provides you. My custom solutions is perfect for small, very fast moving projectile or small, slow moving projectile if you want. It doesn't matter. It's also going to be more accurate. But um, for the fireball here, of course, like this is a very, very good example how, of how efficient this is. But because it's using Raycast, you don't have as much freedom on how, you know, the like hitbox area. Uh, it's basically a line, right? So this is perfect for uh, some of the community members who ask me for um, for like gunning mechanics, uh, shooting mechanics. This is the perfect solution for bullets, 100%. Um, but, you know, nothing is always perfect for any use case. Uh, that's why I wanted to make this clear. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm very happy with... Uh, this custom system, it's going to allow me to do some cool stuff I was not able to do before, or that was, you know, very clunky without this. And uh, it's going to allow you to do the same thing. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.